Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure we are all aware of the devastating news that as a country we had. Uh, prior to hearing the devastating news, we are all praying that it wouldn't be so. But as the saying goes, God knows best. So in times like this, we need to come and mourn with the family to pay tribute to our brother as well and uh, also get to know the arrangements towards his uh, uh, burial uh, or funeral to see how best we can contribute. So I came here on behalf of my club, Asante Kotoko, to pay our respect to our brother and to mourn with the family. Not just footballers. I mean, first and foremost, he's a human being, and human beings, all walks of life, need to learn a valuable lesson from a true. I mean, he likes to do things underground, as the Bible uh, suggests, that even if you are doing humanitarian stuff, you don't have to broadcast it. He's done a lot underground. Some of the things I've heard since his demise uh, are amazing. You wouldn't imagine, you ask yourself, does he use all his earnings for humanitarian works? Because the sort of things I knew before and the sort of things I've heard today inspires me as a person to even do more. And so people must understand that when you emerge out of a community, especially our footballers, it's the blessing of many that God has combined in choosing you as the one to emerge out of that dark tunnel. And once you emerge out of that dark tunnel, you need to let your, sh your light shine upon the rest. You know, when you get to such status, you are for the community and not just for yourself or your immediate family. And that is what Achu demonstrated. He demonstrated that he came out of this world and he belongs to the world and therefore whatever impact he can make to the betterment of the world, he should, and he's done, he's done so. For me, in as much as we are sad, we are also proud of his achievements. I mean, the impact he's made in this world. I mean, how many people who leave the surface of this earth and be noticed and remembered by the entire world and humanity? Not just for what he gave as a footballer, but what he gave as a person, as a human being. So we all have valuable lessons to learn from it. You need to be remembered for something in this life. On the pitch, how will you describe his footballing talent? Magical, magical. I remember uh, the AFCON, I think it was 2015. Uh, it was magic. I mean, he was magical. I used to follow him uh, throughout the uh, FC Porto. And I mean, when he went to Chelsea, I'm a United fan, so I wasn't too happy. I wish he had come to United. But I mean, he, he demonstrated so much talent. I mean, he's not, how many players get the opportunity to play in the English Premier League? I mean, uh, at a point, you know, he played for, I think, three clubs in the English, or four, I mean, in the English Premier League. How many get the opportunity to do And he did that diligently. And you see, it's not just about the on field. You know, the character, you could see that even on field, his character was you know spotless and off the full to same so we've lost a gem we've lost a gem but uh, we have to also take consolation in the fact that he made impact our lord jesus christ was 33 years when he died i have a saying that i always say that uh, the age of methuselah has nothing to do with the miracles of jesus christ you know some people live to be 200 100 yet we cannot remember them for anything. If you go into the Bible, all we hear is that Methuselah was 900 and whatever, and that's it. But Jesus was 33 and he made so much impact and he's remembered for that. So we'll continue to remember Achu for the great things he's achieved for this country.